today I've learned how to make an alternator run as a brushless motor. Things you need to do it cheaply and not effectively is a receiver, an ESC brushless motor controller. I am using the Turnigy Plush 25 amp. I tried using a Simon K. They're very finicky. I would not suggest it. Um, couldn't get it to actually come on or do any beeping. All right, so I got a 2S battery pack. We're running series so I can get about 7 volts or so to it. And I have a 9 volt battery here to power my armature on the alternator. This alternator is a Y configuration, meaning there's actually four terminals rather than three or six. Um, as you can see on that diagram there, there is a neutral post. The way to figure out the neutral post is to pull out a way that you can look in there. If you look down the hole, this one has way more wires ran into it than the rest of them. And thereby, you know it's the neutral because the end of every coil has to attach to the neutral. Simple question I couldn't get answered was what to hook up. You just don't hook up the neutral. What it's there for, if you have that type of person, is if this is a generator, you could do one phase of power or one leg to neutral for 110, two legs of power to neutral for 220, or all three phases and not the neutral for 440 or 330 or whatever three phase voltage is at the time. And of course, it's RPM dependent when being run as a generator. This is what the voltage regulator removed. I made these brackets to hold my brushes in place for the armature. The armature is not a solid magnet on the alternator because the computer needs to be able to turn off the permanent magnet. The would-be permanent magnet of a brushless motor, it needs to be able to turn it on and off so it can stop charging the battery when necessary. So that's why there's a separate power input here so you can magnetize the armature. That way the magnetic field on these coils will actually respond and cause it to rotate. Otherwise it won't do nothing but make noise and twitch. Now, receiver remote, just a cheap one. I got off eBay, turbo racing or something like that. And we got a 9 volt battery for the armature. Armature battery, engage. Stupid slipper. Okay, power to the system. I don't know if you're too aware of these, but you actually put power into this right here, and it's got what's called a battery eliminator circuit that will provide 5 volts to the receiver itself, so you don't have to put a separate battery on. So when that light's solid after it's connected, now we have alternator operation. Now, of course, this ESC is not powerful enough to really run this very fast, and it gets really hot, but proven thing for the bike. If you want an actual ESC to use, this is your better bet because they're for higher amperage, but they still do three-phase outputs that don't work.